Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out a bunch of pets from not only Vanilla, but Thorium, Calamity, and I believe Consolaria and Fargo's mod, both each add in one pet. So we're gonna check them out today. And you know, I got some placements over here. One, two, and three. Three being, I could care less about it. Two being, hey, it'd be cool to have. And number one being, hell yeah, this pet is awesome. All just my opinions, don't get butt hurt. I don't know why I say that. People are gonna get butt hurt either way, but let's do it. So as we can see vanilla has a good amount of pets i think honestly vanilla has more than these two mods combined so let's start with the light pets i have these separated i might have missed one or two but yeah let's start with the light pets i'm gonna go ahead and already say that i don't like these light pets you know they're cool to have early game they're just kind of ugly not only in like design but like they don't really give off too much light isn't the light purple too that they do give off purple and was this red Th this thing's a little bit cooler i like how it bounces around and stuff uh does not exactly look like a heart if i'm being honest looks kind of like some booty cheeks but yeah these two you know i'm not the fondest of i will pick them up if i get my hands on them though uh, i won't go out of my way to get them but you know they're not terrible moving on to the cooler lights we have the fairy bell here which i believe is hard mode you gotta craft this one this one is actually pretty cool i like this won't go out of my way to get it though i don't think i'll go out of my way to get any of these light pets next up we got the magic lantern this one's actually really cool looking too i like this one a lot looks wise uh i think this one helps you see treasure right yeah exposes treasure so it's actually not that bad it's pretty useful but again we're not go out of my way to get it next up wisp in a bottle probably one of the better ones next to obviously the suspicious looking tentacle this one a lot of light gives you a lot of light a little bit more rare than the others but you know if you're farming in the dungeon you'll probably pick this one up on accident and last but not least the suspicious looking tentacle which honestly if you're playing any terraria mod that has a bunch of post moon lord stuff you'll probably get your hands on this and have it because i mean you beat moon lord might as well use it it's the best light pet you're gonna get your hands on unless you're using a very specific one so i'm not gonna show the ranking for the pets until after we finish up this whole vanilla section and then we'll do the same thing for calamity i'll do all the calamity ones and i'll show the ranking same thing with thorium rinse and repeat so let's go ahead let's hop into all the vanilla ones here just take all might as well take all of them they filled up my inventory in a weird way i kind of hope that it was gonna fill up this way but uh it's all good let's start with these three newer ones i believe these ones are the newest additions when it comes to pets to vanilla terraria we got the creeper egg boom this is a light pet this is a light pet see i know i would have missed a light pet already but there you go this one is actually really cool looking i like the old ones army stuff i like the dungeon defenders i think is the name of the game stuff it has a really cool theme and it looks really real cool i said cool twice three times now gato egg you get look at this we have two at the same time the gato is also very adorable because it is a cat i don't know about the stare he's giving me but he's still he's still a little cutie next up the dragon egg i should probably get rid of the, the light pet there the dragon egg something in a dragon was it called horde dragon it was that horde dragon i don't know but this one also is okay looking i don't know i can barely tell it's a dragon honestly it just looks like a flying triangle what is it holding right there oh i could kind of see the tooth right here and then the eyes okay you know i see it a little bit better now but i still don't think it looks the coolest i like the cat better all right next up we got the bone key now the bone key i think just how you get it makes it a higher rank one for me i don't know if i'd still put it number one maybe a number two a solid number two because uh it's cool the way you had to get this and at the same time it's a hassle but i still like how unique it is it's not that unique it's just it's just a skull next up we got the little hornet baby hornet now there's some weird discrepancies is that the right word to use probably not don't you get this from queen bee you get the the, the nectar right from the queen bee which is a bee and this is a hornet is the queen bee a, a hornet like the there's i mean there's design of the queen bee it was gonna be a big hornet but they changed it to a bee so how come you don't get a bee you know it's just kind of confusing and just for that alone it still gets number two spot i like the hornet tiki totem i like this one a lot it's probably gonna be a, one of the ones that goes to number one because this one is awesome i love crash bandicoot i love aku aku what's the other one called i don't know i like tiki stuff it's a really cool theme next up i believe this one how hard is it to get this one it's, it's pretty hard you know most of these pets are extremely hard to get your hands on but this one is cool especially when you fly get, it gets a little little wing right there but it's really cool uh it's just a lizard though other than that next up we got the eater's bone which summons in a baby eater of souls it's okay looking i never really thought that 
you know, many things from the corruption look cute, uh, even in baby form. And you know, most pets, they look cute or they look cool as hell. This thing just, it's just ugly. Next up, the turtle. I love the turtle. Automatic number one spot. Me and this turtle go way back. If you've watched some of my, you know, regular modded Terraria series, then you would know that me and this turtle pet have some history. Next up, the penguin. Penguin, adorable. That, that's really it, it's adorable. Next up, we got the uh, carrot. It summons in a bunny. I don't have the, you know, there's like a, a config you're supposed to change to be able to use this like collect edition bunny thing uh oh well it's, it's literally just a bunny here you guys want to see it there you go it's a bunny and the color of the bunny correlates to the color of your like clothes or something like that which i think is really cool i think it's very unique honestly i might give it a number one spot because bunnies are adorable it's really cool that you can change the color and it comes with collector's edition which is really cool next up we got the companion cube which is a very very cool and unique pet you know portal is a really cool game and honestly i think this is a number one spot especially when you dip this thing in lava and it makes that beautiful noise no when i first heard that noise and i had this pet that scared the hell out of me because you know i thought some shit was about to go down next up we got the eye spring i really love the eye spring this is a really cool looking pet and it's one of the ones that I actually get pretty often i don't know the the eyes or just kind of drops it all the time and i like that it hops around reminds me of the uh, pixar lamp next up cursed sapling very very cool looking pet i love its face toy sled it's a little miniature snowman there's not much to say to that i love it a lot baby face monster from the bone rattle uh you know not as ugly as the corruption one it's still kind of ugly though like i know you're a baby and everything but you you grow up to be something very ugly we got the tartar sauce which does the baby minotaur or mini minotaur i like this one a lot mini minotaur is really cool looking and the zephyr fish it's just a flying fish i don't think it's that cool all right we're coming to our last bit of the vanilla ones let's kind of just speed through these starting with the baby grinch one it's literally baby grinch come on that's that's that deserves a number one spot dog whistle is a doggo come on number one spot cat now if this was you know one of the regular looking cats didn't have that big ass hat on and uh when i say regular looking i mean not this purplish color that we have you know what i'm talking about those cats where it's like gray fur and they got the little like black stripes on them those cats i think those cats are cute this cat is purple and he got a big ass hat on like at least get a hat that fits magical pumpkin seed this thing's awesome looking spider egg i mean i'm i don't hate spiders or insects in general but this spider is not really doing it for me seedling seedling is adorable that's a, that's a yes for me and the baby truffle come on bro. baby truffle you know i'm a fan of mushroom things if you can't tell about the mushroom outfit you know i like mush the mushroom theme in terraria so this this is a thumbs up for me we got the parrot cracker i don't think i ever get my hands on this i can care less about a parrot and last but not least probably one of the coolest pets i think a lot of people can agree on this being one of the coolest pet and also one of the rarest i've gotten this once and uh one of the cool things is that the little the little pterodactyl that carries the t-rex around is this a t-rex or is this a raptor i don't know whatever all right so here are all the rankings this is the third place rankings that i have you know this is the ones that i could care less about number two you know it would be fine if i had them i wouldn't care too much though and number one i would prefer to have them but they're obviously most of these are still hard to get go ahead start leaving your comment about why i'm wrong about my opinion all right so we're gonna start this modded list with the first two from fargo's and consularia consularia adds in a turkey this turkey is very important uh he also walks a really Really funny uh very important because you need to have this turkey as a pet if you want to fight turkor and the other one is a roomba which i think is also very funny look how he jumps roombas can't jump so i'm not going in any particular order here for the calamity stuff but let's go ahead let's start with the first one strange orb which adds in a fish out of water why are they flopping around like that are they always supposed to flop around like that i don't know yeah we got the young siren isn't there like a leviathan too that's supposed to be with it i don't know i don't remember this thing flopping around like this uh is it not supposed to flop around when you're in water no look it doesn't flop around when you're in water okay next up we got the bloody vein which this is not a light pet uh this is just regular it is really ugly this is that's all i gotta say <laughs> next up forgotten dragon egg this is awesome it's a little baby yarn or my bad akato looks like you'll have to take care of it now i don't think so bear's eye and that made a little little cute meow noise y'all heard that hold on let me read something it look at that that's adorable see this cat you know it may not be the one i was talking about earlier but it's got the little meows and look how it moves there's no stupid hat it's wearing cosmic plushie giving me some anime looking vibes the cool thing is it does ride on like dog's head 
which I think is pretty cool. So maybe I won't throw it in third place. Maybe a good, a solid second place because of riding, it rides on dog's head. The thing is, kind of disappears before you can see it. Next up, we got the Fox Drive. It's a fox. It's really cute. Look how he walks. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, next up is Hermit's Box of 100 Medicines. The fuck is that? Is that a fat snake? Yeah, I don't know if the, any of these are references to shows, animes, whatever. I have no idea. So excuse my lack of knowledge. Next up, we have a trash can. This thing actually makes snake noises, so you can't tell me otherwise. It's not a fat snake. But yeah, next up, trash can summons the trash man, Danny DeVito. Come on, this is number one. Look at him. He's so happy. Next up is the Romahita Orchid. I don't know if I said that right. Oh my god, it's a cuter dog. Come on, and look at the icon, bro. Kendra. What's up, Kendra? Oh, this is an awesome pet. Next up, we got Charred Relic. No comment on this. And last but not least, the Leviathan, which you could actually both have the Leviathan and the Siren at the same time. How come the Leviathan doesn't fly? around like that come on let's let's get them in the water to see both of them united this is a cool combo so maybe they'll both get first place because of the combo moving on to the thorium set of ones let's do it why do i still have these guys with me forgotten letters some is a snowy owl it's cool nothing crazy delectable nut no homo on that looks like a little baby viscount Lil mog is it like a rap name biopod this sums in a little metroid which is awesome exotic mina egg just, just a little birdie guild staff now originally i I thought that this was the uh was a dragon master from dragon quest uh it's not i think i hope he's called the dragon's master i don't know the only dragon quest i played was dragon quest builders and uh it wasn't apparently it's just i don't know what the hell it's from but i was kind of upset when i figured out he wasn't from dragon's quest next up pink sludge it's just it's a pink slime so this one the rich leaf summons in a holy goat it just doesn't work i don't know if this is a bug with thorium or what but it does not work for me and this one's actually really cool looking maybe i'll have a picture of it pop up on the screen because i actually do like that one a lot all right let's move on to our next one the strange communicator gives us a little ufo looking thing uh, not the cutest ufo next up jellyfish idol is jellyfish in a bubble next up the omega drive this one is actually pretty cool because this one attacks things and uh, you know the only other pets that attack things are the ones from the legacy console version but uh hopefully consolaria adds in those pets that attack things because when i played console the one two times i did it was cool having the pets that attack stuff let me go ahead and show you guys its attack just a nice little beam that shoots out every once in a while. Next up, we got the Simple Broom, which summons in a cute little maid. Nope, not into this. Next up, we got the Demo's Guidance. Summons a magic lantern that releases a constant aura of regeneration. Also a very useful pet. I like when pets have, you know, passive abilities because I feel like pets, they should have passive abilities. Next up, we got Twinkle here. Reminds me of Navi, 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 whatever you want to say. it. gotta say it multiple ways because people get mad no matter which way I say it. I don't know what this thing does. I know it's a healer item. Summons a spirit composed of distant stars the spirit will generate healing energy that players can pick up if you are hurt 15 mana is spent when healing energy is generated nice next up we got the blister sack or the blister pod it's ugly all right here we are down to our last four starting with a shiny object gives you a nice little shiny spirit to follow you around up next the ancient drachma which is a bag of coins or drachmas next up the cloudy chewy toy i believe this is a happy days reference and uh he looks really funny looking i like him a lot that's that's a thumbs up for me and our final one Davy Jones lock box which was this this is a light pet apparently it's a light pet some is a money spitting treasure chest every 10 500 and 10,000 damage dealt will cause the chest to spit out corresponding coin that's cool that is very cool I like how it bounces around the little money in its mouth is really awesome and how it spins that's a really nice detail let me go ahead and spawn in some enemies here look at that spat out some money that's awesome this is a good one all right here are my rankings first place boom second place and third place but yeah i just want to thank everyone for all the kind birthday wishes my birthday was i believe was today now today's the fourth it was the third is when my birthday was september 3rd uh if you're gonna if you guys are wondering i am now 21 but yeah one other thing i want to say before i plug all my social media and stuff we will be changing worlds soon so i might have a little video or maybe it'll be in the and we'll do like a short video and then have this in the end where i go over all the videos we did in this world you know just commemorate it just attribute it one last time before we switch to a new world that will be taking place in the 101 industry labs because i want to make a giant laboratory and you know do all our future videos in that laboratory in that new world so we might be saying bye to this world very soon but yeah make sure to follow my twitch follow my twitter join my discord subscribe to my second youtube vod raiders 101 where i post my full twitch live stream pretty much full terraria playthroughs there and make sure to sub to this channel and like the video if you enjoyed it i'll see y'all next time bye bye i love you guys